What up, it's me, ADZ, and we're back with more of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we took care of the two biggest side quests in the game, the Korok Trees and the Trading Sequence, which got us two heart pieces. This time, we are finally going to be dealing with the last three Triforce Shards, and we are going to start over here on the Islet of Steel, which we could not have done much about before, but I guess we're just going right off the bat. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, oh, God, we got a lot of things to kill. But yeah, as we saw in the uh, incredible chart, hang on while I kill these guys. Thank God I got 99 bombs. Okay, boom. We're already starting off the episode with some heavy action right now. We're just killing things. Anyway, but yeah, as I showed off in the incredible chart, uh, the last three Triforce shards are uh, basically going to be led to us via via treasure charts, more or less. And we are going to be getting those three charts today. And I just have to kill you. Let me get up close to you. I don't even care. I don't even care. Here, yeah, have some bombs. Boom! I'm surprised we didn't even get like get hurt by oh, another one of you. God, we just too many, too many, too many bombs. Here, there. It's really still alive. Okay, now I can just shoot you. God, that hurt me too. Okay, and then boom. Ah, Cargo rock, whatever. We just want to head in here. Ignore everything. Head inside. There we go. Oh, it's as simple as that. I didn't even realize it was as simple as that, huh? Can we move faster? God, I didn't even realize I have to I have to hold up to do it. Yeah, we just have to break our way inside, and then no strings attached. <laughs> if we just play the w Yes! I Daphnis! I'm doing that! In fact, that's why I'm here! To get more Triforce Shards, because once we play the Wind's Requiem over here... As you will see, Daphnis, don't worry, I didn't lose sight of her goal. Just because I got sidetracked and decided to do a few side quests for a few more heart pieces doesn't mean I've lost sight of our mission, okay? That's the whole deal of being an adventurer. How are you- how else are you gonna adventure if you just have your goal in mind? My god, okay. So in here... Opening it, 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 opening it! We have a Triforce chart! You can't read it yourself, so we have to get it deciphered somewhere. So that's gonna be the trend. The Triforce charts that we're getting are unreadable, unfortunately. So we are gonna have to do something about that. But that should not be too much of a problem, because I do know what we have to do to make them be readable. Anyway, our next destination is going to be Needle Rock Isle. And I believe there is a special ship on Needle Rock- wrong, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! God, did everything respawn? Yeah, everything- well, the, the cannons on the outside respawn, but whatever. So, we are gonna head to the east over to Needle Rock Isle, and there should be a special ship, as we see by the incredible chart right over there. Yeah. And it doesn't cross off the, uh, the Triforce maps once you get them, so you're just gonna have to remember. It's really not that hard, because two of them are, like, right next to each other. Also, thankfully, on the gamepad, I can see the incredible chart right there. I wish I had a way of being able to record the gamepad. I unfortunately don't. And if there is a way to do it with Game Capture HD, someone please tell me, because I clearly have no idea. Anyway. So around Middle Finger Island is going to be a ship. A very, very special ship. Somewhere around here. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hunt for this bad boy. Uh you're gonna have to give me at least a minute or two. Actually, no, maybe it's I think okay, I think I see them. I think I see the ships. It's gonna be a, a special gold ship. It's not just gonna be that! There it is! There it is, right there. I see you. Okay. Now I have a feeling because it's a special ship, it's gonna take more shots. I'm I'm gonna ignore all the fodder ships. I'm just gonna Go after my main prize over here. Kaboom! Alright, that'll do it. So, we crawl up to it. We salvage it up. And I wonder what's in here. Opening it, 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 opening it. Triforce chart number two! Again, we can't read it, so we need to be able to do something about that. But before that, we still have one more that we need to get. All the way on the east side. So I'm gonna warp over to the closest point. Uh, looks like the forest haven is the closest point. Yeah, so let's warp over there. I'm trying to remember exactly how to get this one. Again, I wish I knew Wind Waker more than I did. I know it well enough, again. I know it well enough to the point where I'm comfortable enough to let's play it, but, like, I wish I knew it as well as I knew Ocarina of Time. I hope that's not taking away from your enjoyment experience where, you know, I do still kind of bumble about. 
But damn it, I am trying my best. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to head up to. It's looking like we want to go to. Bird's Peak Rock. Okay, I remember. I remember now. I remember what we want to do. So we want to head to Bird's Peak Rock. So should we sing some sea shanties again? I mean, the sun's gonna set, so we might as well. This is really our only chance to sing some sea shanties. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Let's sing the chorus. What will you do with a drunken sailor? What will you do with a drunken sailor? What will you do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. I, I, I feel like I nailed that voice a little bit pretty well. Anyway, Bird's Peak Rock. Over here. So what we can do, I think we have to do some seagulling. Yes? Do we have to do some seagulling? don't remember what we gotta do. I think what we wanna do is... Oh, oh, I think I know what we wanna do. What we wanna do is we wanna get our grappling hook. This is coming straight from my memory right now. I wanna get a grappling hook. And I think we wanna uh, grab onto this. Yeah? And then climb up. If I recall correctly. We wanna get in there. No, no, come on. Climb up. Yes, like that. Okay. Ah, that's right. There's gonna be a switch. Ah, damn it, we have to kill you. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. Okay. So I know for a fact we need a Huey pair, so thank God I have about a. Our forest water is still going. Okay. So, grab a Huey pair. And we want to hit that switch. Or no, we want to hit multiple of them. Anyway, let's grab this Huey pair. And control the seagull. Alright, so, there are multiple switches we want to hit. And we missed the first one, just like right off the bat. Okay, dive down. Dive down. Oh, oh, oh. Bird! Hit the, what, what are you doing, bird? Hit the switch like I asked you to. Are you serious? Thank you. Okay. Now, there are some other switches that we need to hit that the cargo rocks are blocking. I'm going to have to lure them away. Nope, that worked. Okay. I think we have to hit, like, all of the switches. Yeah, yeah, but we, we got to be quick about it. And we cannot get hit by the cargo rocks because if we do, I think we lose control of, uh, we lose control of our bird. Damn it, that didn't work. Okay, hang on. Yeah, 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 we lose control of our bird. Mm-hmm, okay. The worst part is you can't even kill them from here. Let's, hang on, let's... I don't think they have... Do they have a timer? Because like, that th that switch is still on. Like, thankfully. Okay. Can you all go away from me, please? Okay. Oh! Oh, my God! I have screwed myself. Can I... Hold on. Okay. Here's, here's a plan. Here's a plan. Can I hit any of them from over here? Yes, they're coming to me. They're coming to me. Good, they're stupid. They're coming to me. They're coming to me. They're idiots. Okay, that worked. <laughs> that just made my life a hell of a lot easier. I only have two QA pairs, though, so I better be careful. Okay. But at least I killed the majority of them, meaning I'm going to have a very easy time from here on out, because they were dumb enough to fly to me. <laughs> you figured they would just think, oh, let's just stay away from him. Okay. There we go. So that's another one. And then that's, this is the one that I tried to hit, but I goofed. And I think I have to hit the one at the top as well, yeah? Oh my god, are you serious? I have one Huey pair left. I have one Huey pair left. This is a problem. I'm gonna be mad as hell if I have to do this whole goddamn thing over. Okay. I'm gonna have to, oh, okay, get away, get away, get away. Stay away from me. Good. No, do not follow me. Do not follow me. You stupid Kargarok bird ass. Got it! Got it! That was kind of dumb. <laughs> At least most of them followed me over here. Anyway, we dropped down here. And just like that, again, no strings attached. <laughs> Play the Wind's Requiem. And in this treasure chest, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of what's in here. Opening it, 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 opening it. The final Triforce chart. So we have all three Triforce charts that will lead us to the last three pieces of the Triforce of Courage. However, the problem is, we cannot read them. They are in some crazy ass ancient language. So we cannot read them. However, I know somebody who can. 
And we are gonna head over there soon-ish, because there's something else that I want to do. It's because we're only like at 10 minutes left in the recording, and once we do uh, the thing with the maps, I'm gonna cut the episode there. So there's one last thing that I want to do. And we are going to head all the way down south to... Well, not all the way down south. We're gonna head to the Angular Islands. So I think I'm just gonna warp over there, because it'd be easier if I warped over there. So I'll just meet you over at the Angular Isles. So here we are back at the Angular Isles. Now remember how we came here and got a treasure chart and a heart piece, and then we had to float over using the Wind's Requiem? Now that we have the hookshot, we don't have to float over. <laughs> so, we can just use our hookshot, uh, latch on to the tree, or miss. This is happening again, isn't it? There we go, latch on the tree, and then drop down this hole. And now we can finally do something about this hole. Now, I just wanted to make special mention of this place, because I remember coming here for the first time and being thoroughly annoyed. <laughs> thoroughly annoyed. Okay. Because I, I tried coming here before, I didn't even see, like, the lights. Hang on. Okay, no, I think what we gotta do is... Hop on here. Oh, no, 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 what we wanna do is do this. So yeah, there's this annoying-ass block puzzle, and I remember this being extremely annoying, because I tried coming here prematurely, Damn it, hang on. Okay, no, I know what I gotta do. I have to move this out of the way. And then I have to pull this, right? No. What, which one what, Which one am I pulling? I am pulling one of these blocks. Oh! Right, the ones that have the friggin- Okay, yeah. This block puzzle was annoying as all hell. I remember doing this, like, my first playthrough. Going through this whole trouble of solving this huge- This annoying, annoying block puzzle. And then to find out that I couldn't even do anything about it. Because, as you'll see... You will see. There are some lights up there. <laughs> you cannot properly do anything in here unless you have the mirror shield. Okay. Now we can't pull that over here because what we need to do is we need to pull this once more. We, what we want to do is we want to make a staircase. So this is a bit annoying. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> okay, that noise was my forest water wearing out. That's why. <laughs> I got a little shocked at that. I'm like, what the hell is that noise? I'm like, oh, that's just my forest water wearing out. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, pull this, jump up, jump up, and now we use our, okay, this, this is what we want to do. We want to light this up with our mirror shield. Okay, that was enough, good. <laughs> but yeah, I remember doing this and I'm like, oh crap, I can't do anything about this yet because I need the mirror shield. This is nothing important, this is just for, uh, this is just for rupees, more more than likely. Or some type of item, I don't even remember what this is for. It's- Oh, it's 200 rupees! Okay, totally worth it. Because we are gonna need money. I just wanted to make special note of this place, because this place always annoyed me. Especially during my first playthrough. This is like that one area of the game where it's like, why is this even here? Anyway. So, with all three maps, I am going to escort you. And by that, I mean I'm going to warp you to the least likely place where you think we would go to deal with these maps. Tangle Island. Yup. Of all the places, Tangle Island. We are actually going to be doing something here. Anyway. Here we are at Tingle Isle. So. We finally sail up over here and see what the deal with this place is. Tingle's got a weird ass aisle and the house in the shape of his friggin' head. <laughs> anyway, so, we climb up here. Slowly but surely. Sorry if this isn't super interesting, but yeah, we climb up here. And as we'll see... <laughs> Tingle's got himself some slaves! <laughs> he has his two brothers. Or I guess we're just gonna talk to him. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mmm. That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. It's impossible. Would you like me to decipher it for 398 rupees? <laughs> yeah, he charges a hefty price. Go ahead. Here's a Triforce chart. Yup. Grulimba. Become readable. Readable's not even a word. But now we can read the chart, so we can find the piece of the Triforce with that. Would you like me to decipher another for three hundred ninety-eight rupees? <laughs> Go ahead, Tingle. Yup, yup. 
Oodlimpa. So now another one has become legible. And since we have a third one, we might as well get it re uh, readable again for another 398 rupees. So, yup, yup, Oodlimpa. So, I should mention, in the original Wind Waker, there were no Triforce shards out in the open. There were not three maps. There were eight. And Tingle charged the same price for all of these maps. So you needed at least 3,200 rupees to get all eight of these Triforce shard, char, charts maps readable. This is another reason why I'm spoiled rotten on the HD version. Because there's only three charts instead of the full eight. So I don't know the struggle of original Wind Waker players. Hmm, Mr. Fairy, you must try very hard to find treasure. And then he will just teach us. So, all three of our charts are now readable. And I'm about to say, Tingle has his slaves. Eve, oh, this is heavy. This is just between you and me. But this guy is another brother. If that guy could come spin this thing instead of me. And then what about the pink brother? Um, you have a Tingle bottle, do you not? Uh... No, if you're not a fan of it, do not worry about it. Tingle Bottle is sort of complicated, I suppose. No, don't go out of your way. No, really. I mean, it's quite amusing, the Tingle Bottle. But no, really, I would not expect you to. Please, yeah, please don't. Me versus dead, so it's not like it matters. But yeah, these are two of Tingle's brothers. The one in pink is Ankle. The one in the right is David Jr. <laughs> so weird name. And then the third brother he's talking about is the is one in blue, who we haven't seen. But that's his name is Knuckle. And unlike, unlike Tingle, he doesn't chuckle. <laughs> but yeah, you've got Tingle, Ankle, Knuckle, and David Jr. I'm not even going to wonder where David Jr. comes from. <laughs> anyway, so, our three Triforce maps are now readable. If we can just go right over here, where are they? There's, there should be Triforce chart 1, 2, and 3, yeah? Yes, so now we can open them, and now we can read them. So as you will see, they look like they're in pretty familiar places. In fact, this one is here on Great Fish Isle. So, next time, we are finally, finally going to not only clean up the treasure charts, but collect the three Triforce shards that are remaining. So for now, we're going to cut it here as the sun rises. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker.